Hello, girlies. Good morning. Do I like this way better? Ew, what's in my hair? So today was literally supposed to be the best ever. I was planning on hiring a celebrity stylist to the stars to dress me, style me, have a fitting for my wedding look, which I know a lot of you are thinking I potentially might do a wedding dress, but I just don't think I'm all the way there. But let me tell you, after spending a week, and I'm not kidding, a week trying to find a stylist, a celebrity stylist to the stars, they're nightmares. Literally all, I can't say all of them are the worst, but I have had the worst luck. A lot of these people just don't respond, which I get because I'm not like an actor or a celebrity, but still I'm offering to pay these people. And a lot of them, if they respond at all, forward me to their managers who multiple have quoted me upwards of $25,000 to style me, just for one look. And it's like, <sighs> We're not hiring a stylist today, and instead, I thought I would take all of the inspiration photos that I've gathered myself for my dream wedding look, take it to Joann's, shop for fabric, and sew together my dream wedding look myself. I've never sewn before, but here's to hoping that I am the style icon I hope I am in my head. All right, let's shop. I realized that I haven't even told you my wedding inspiration looks yet, and I'm very fired up about them. So the first of which, and my absolute favorite look that I've ever seen that I specifically want on my body for my wedding is Timothy Chalamet at the Golden Globes, which, are you kidding me? Incredible, the best thing I've ever seen. It's the best mix of masculine with a touch of feminine, beautiful. The only problem is it's custom Louis Vuitton and Virgil who designed this has zero idea who I am slash will never custom make anything for me probably in my life. We can dream but let's be real. <laughs> On the other end of that is my fantasy which I won't realistically end up wearing at my wedding but it is Lil Nas X I think he wore this to the MTV Movie Awards. Uh, it was designed by Christian Cohen. I'm obsessed. It's louder than I'm confident enough to rock for my actual wedding. I love it. So I think when I'm shopping for fabrics, I want to meet somewhere in the middle. There she is. God, you I had to go get a plastic water bottle at CVS because I'm so parched I thought I was going to die. Now everyone's going to be like, oh, she's plastic. <laughs> Are you ready to shop for my wedding crafting debut? Well, mainly I'm ready to drink this water bottle, but after that, then maybe. I don't really understand. So you're gonna make your own wedding dress? I'm not gonna make a dress. I'm gonna make my um, own new stuff. I DIY crop all my own hoodies. So why don't you hire me to make your wedding dress? Oh my gosh, look at Fabric Central. We've arrived. Yeah, I take something like an inspo piece. So Around that. Your wedding party. I was thinking me, Trisha, and Tana for bride. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm having bridesmaids, but yes. Oh, Do you want to make the three of you guys dresses to yeah. match? I had a dream the other night where me, Trisha, and Tana all collabed on a song. Maybe we can get a wedding song going. Look at all the fabric. So are you going for white or black? Are you making a suit or a dress? I'm well, I'm making a suit, but I want it to have like some fun touches. They must have like a wedding a wedding section because <laughs> so many people are DIYing their wedding looks Probably. from Joanne. I mean, someone has to make the dresses that you see. This is good. Oh, uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> you could make your dress out of this. Ooh. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, ew. Uh, well, a dress? I'm not making a dress. This <laughs> so too. You know, hands are so much more difficult. This is kind of fun. Ew. Uh, those could be make a fun pant. Ooh, I don't know if that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, underneath my undershirt. Oh, come on. I don't know if I'm into that. Ooh, what about this one? Okay, <laughs> I think you're thinking like bridesmaid dress. You're gonna look like JoJo. You're thinking for yourself. Ugh, a dress might be easier. <gasps> Ooh, I like this one. Gold. This looks like someone at the Met Gala. Okay, let me show you my inspiration looks. This one from Timothy Chalamet. 
So he just has like a touch of sparkle. It looks like a, he's on house arrest and that's his tracker. <laughs> Don't drag Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it's a custom Louis Vuitton vest. Ooh. And then if I'm going crazy. I like his better. See how it's a cropped blazer? Oh yeah, and he has like fluff in the middle. Yeah. They actually have a bridal section. Whoa. Okay. Fashion Nova. Whoa. Oh my gosh, is my new hobby in life designing my own clothes? Is this like what actual designers do? Or are they like looking for fabric inspo and then they just start drawing up? That's what I don't understand because none of these feel like clothes. I, I do like the idea of like maybe a velvet jacket and then the sparkly one for underneath. Well, this seems easy to work with. You could put like your head on top of this. Oh, I just thought of the most, <laughs> like if celebrities sold balloons, so when you blew them up, it was like their heads. So like celebrities could be at people's birthday parties. Because I was just thinking, how would you get your head on this? Uh, like, oh, you can make a balloon of your face. And no one steal that. I'm doing that. Well, we need to event that immediately. And put event. It on <laughs> <laughs> we, no, literally, that is so... I bet somebody's done that. Face balloons? Like, Are you kidding me? Why am I so red? Shane balloons at their birthday party. Oh my gosh, we're going out of business. Cancel the video. <laughs> <laughs> that's my new... That's my next thing. I literally spent hours at the store. I'm gonna do a little bit of work in like setting up the machine because I don't know how to do any of that. I quite honestly have a whole new respect for fashion designers. I've been having a full on mental breakdown every step of the way. Just figuring out how to thread the actual sewing machine gave me the most anger I've ever had in my life. I'm using my stencil of a coat that I really like. This is 100% harder than I had thought. <sighs> it's a nightmare. Now I'm cutting into the beautiful velvety fabric that I've chosen. Even though I've done this according to all the videos I've seen online, I have no idea if when I get to sewing, this is actually gonna work. And I don't know if my mind can handle starting this over and doing the process again. So this is the back. And it's gonna be a little cropped, which, ooh, it's not even, yikes. Okay, so I have my very first portion of the jacket. This is a big deal, everybody, here we go. Uh-oh. Now that I'm editing this, and after I now know how to use the sewing machine, I'm realizing uh, the foot isn't down, which of course it's not gonna work. Okay, great. <laughs> not exactly what we wanted. Oh, fuck. All right, we've got a jam, everyone. Damn it. Oh. Somebody please come save me. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be a long, long journey. <sighs> Shit. Okay, I'm about to flip her around for the first time so that we can both see the stitching together. Oh my gosh. Wow. It actually looks pretty good. Okay, cute. I have the basic outline of the vest done. I'm sketching out the first arm and I still need to make a collar. But I do feel as though I at least have the sewing machine down a little bit now. Like, I cannot tell you how many times it had gotten jammed and I would get so frustrated, but now I feel like I'm making progress. The one very nice thing about all of this is that I'm tailoring it to my body. I'm like, oh, it could be tightened here. So I like that I can mess with the lengths of the sleeves, the width of the sleeves, I can have it tapered down. I complain a lot about never being able to find things specifically for me. It's just so time consuming and tedious. Although it's a fun hobby, I guess. Good morning. All right, it is day two. I didn't sleep much because I spent all night thinking about how I was going to make this work. Um, so today I'm starting off with uh, coffee. So I finished what I hope to be the very first sleeve. I gotta try it on to make sure. 
outfits. Wow. Whoa, I'm kind of shook. Now I have to do another arm, which was the biggest nightmare of my life. Cute. Okay, so I'm moving on to the shirt, which I deconstructed one of my shirts to use as the template. Okay, so you have to imagine this sheer moment tucked in, but there's gonna be like a crazy sequin number up front, and then the jacket covers the rest, and then you get the see-through on the side. Okay. I'm having an actual mental breakdown. I've been sewing since 9 a.m., and it's now 6.04 and I want to kill myself. This is literally where I've been all day. Like, what in the world? And I get so excited because I keep having groundbreaking moments where I'm like, this is gonna be so good. And then I like try on what I finished, which for like 15 hours of sewing is nothing. I also look crazy and stink. I could smell my own BO while I was doing this. I was sweating so much. So I think I'm gonna tap out for the day. I'm so mad. Good night. It is a new day. I'm starting fresh. I've been working on the pants and, s oh my gosh, I can't even talk. I've been working on the pants since 3 p.m. I used a pattern and I think I've had much more success today. So I'm flipping them around and trying them on for the first like actual time. We gotta hope they get up around my butt. <laughs> okay, work. Hello, pants. You, like I, have ob I obviously need to make the top the top, but look at it, like fitted nicely. I can sit in them, I hope. They're soft and luxurious. Success, first of the week. Okay, so today is the day. Everyone's here and I'm about to reveal my hard work, my four days of intense manual labor. Sorry, the shirt is throwing me off. I'm trying to not look at it. I'm looking at the rest of it. <laughs> Wait, I mean, come on, it's craftsmanship. You made the pants and everything? Yes. Wait, what? I spent my whole last <laughs> four days doing this. Oh my God. <laughs> there has to be. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or maybe not. Well, it's supposed to be a little like pizzazzy and fun. Like I have this shirt is actually a zipper. What so, the heck? Really? <laughs> so like I've got the bling. You look like you're gonna play the guitar while we eat. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I got the during your wedding. Yeah, he's just <laughs> cropped vests with the shoe Wow. Wait. Look at the craftsmanship on the skinny pants. Brandon, how are you doing this? <laughs> how did you do this? I watched a lot of With Wendy, who's a sewing girl on YouTube. Hey, you're watching With Wendy. She does other things too. Shout out. Um, some of my stitching isn't ideal. Yeah, like, should we not get close? Well, yeah. Can't really see it. From on afar is better. This is my first sewing experience, so my next will be a little more. This is like professionally fluid. tailored pants. This is crazy. Well, what are they made out of? It's like a crushed velvet. You hate crushed velvet. <laughs> well, I'm kind of liking it now. It feels very buttery and soft. Like, Whoa. Up next to me. See, like, feel the pants. Ooh. Excuse you. How is it buttoned together? 
Uh, okay, so I went easy on pockets. If you'll see, there's there's no pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. But how do you? What's it buttoned with? Well, it's tucked into my box. <laughs> but so you it's know. not real. It's for sure. It is real. It gives the illusion of clothing. I can wear it to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Tana says when she does fashion. <laughs> I didn't do sleeves because it was gonna to be too hard because the sleeves on this were a nightmare. Hey, wait, it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Far away. Hey, this doesn't make you excited to marry me in this? <laughs> yeah, jacket on. <laughs> if I had my phone, I'd show you the inspiration. I'll show you the inspiration in the book. <laughs> sleeves for the undershirt. What? <laughs> oh, because sleeves are very hard to craft, I've discovered. Look at, see how there's little wings? And that's because I fucked up. These I freehanded. I like guesstimated. And look at me now. My next outfit is gonna be it. You're doing it again? Well, I gotta make sure. <laughs> the stylist wanted to dress me. I hit up everyone in Hollywood. Everyone that dresses any actor and they were all like, no thank you, or like $30,000. And I was like, uh. <laughs> you look like you're from middle school play. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Halloween clothes, like, uh, like Party City clothes, which is good. Come on. This is everywhere. Where? <laughs> <laughs> So you don't want me to wear this to the wedding? No, I think that would be really cute and like a weird inside joke. We'd have to tell people about the video and make them watch it. Right. Before you come out down the aisle. The fact that you see the chest hair through your shirt is a little... That's very 2020 though. Well, it's inspired <laughs> it? by... It's inspired by Luke. It's right. What's it inspired by? I would say that's pretty impressive. I don't think I could have done anything close to that. Wait, did you just buy a piece of fabric and make it yourself? Oh, I went fabric shopping. Are you serious? He's been so annoying all week. It's so annoying. I haven't seen him at all. Like so twelve hours. So annoying. So, I. <laughs> No yeah. I mean, that's actually really crazy that you just sewed together <laughs> an actual piece of clothing from they? just fab. So this was my style inspiration. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> no, the cut. Oh, like oh, the jacket the cut. cut. The yeah, pants so you with did the really good. Good job. Um, that was like a little Nas, right? I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah, a little Nas. Right. My host to the old town road. Okay. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I think tomorrow I'll like go live my life in this in public. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I give it an eight out of ten. I only dog a point because I'm not a fan of the sleeves of the shirt. Oh, there's some. Yeah. <laughs> From afar, those pants are pretty impressive. The pants, I take pride in. I really was, yeah, I thought I had it with the pants. Are you gonna finish them? If I wear it for the wedding. What do you guys think? Should I wear this look or should I keep calling celebrity stylists that have no interest? <laughs> <laughs> that is me when I'm. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Every YouTube girl. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is all I have for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this sewing DIY adventure. I will say I learned a lot and I do want to try this again. If you enjoyed your time here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you very much. Goodbye.